What's up guys, Chris VA Travels down here in Massaponics, Virginia, Spotsylvania County, and I'm gonna take a walk around Martin's Manor. Plantation home that was built back in the 1780s. Uh, it, during the 1900s, it served as the Martin's Manor Motel. And uh, obvious thing, this thing's been uh, left to deteriorate. So I just want to come out here and do a quick video, just do a walk around, just kind of get this thing on film before it's taken down. I'm sure there are going to be uh, apartment buildings here in the next five or ten, five or ten years. And this is another one of these uh, old houses that I saw Route One right here, driving by. And I always wonder what it was while I hopped online. Not much information out there. If any viewers know anything about this place, please put it in the comments. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, some other viewers would like to know. But you can tell this thing was originally uh, Georgian, uh, built Georgian style. It's advertised as a Southern colonial. And I'm sure these wings were added on. And yeah, no other information. I imagine somebody with the last name Martin had owned it, but I just saw briefly, and they uh, mentioned in an article in the Freelance Star, that plantation home uh, going back to the uh, 1780s. And then it was that Martin Martin's Manor Motel. Yeah, pretty good entrance, pretty pretty nice pediment, some fluted columns there, some Doric columns. And yeah, you could, uh, wow, look at the roof. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this thing looked great in its prime. Yeah, I found some pictures on, like I say, not much on the internet, uh, but I saw a, uh, a little blog on Facebook. I saw some photos from 2018 where this thing was still operating, kind of as an antique store. It looked pretty nice and uh, yeah, items were being sold inside. But those, uh, is that kind of a chimney right there with nothing coming out of the, uh, the top? I see one chimney on the other side. Maybe it's fallen down, fell on the other side. I, I don't know, or I, it looks like maybe it's capped off. Um, anyway, yeah, tin roof there, caved in. And blackberries, just a bunch of brush on the other side. I'll, I'll walk around this thing. But uh, I can tell you, I believe it was 2016, this property sold for almost $2 million. And I think it's been sold again since, uh, but you can see they sell sheds and the flea market is held here. Uh, you'll see the benches over there where people set up their, uh, their items. All right, so yeah, it looks like a little chimney on that thing too. A little step up here. Oh, yeah, fall is definitely here. It's getting cold. Um, yeah, this thing, there's nothing in here. It's gutted out, just an old sink over there. Ah, uh, my camera just got caught up in the ivy. <laughs> oh, all right, let's tell this is a homestead. <laughs> Dry your laundry. <laughs> Look at this uh, dilapidated shed. Uh, <clears throat> to tell you, we're about seven miles. There's some aftergrowth right there. We're about seven miles south of Fredericksburg seven, eight miles, and dilapidated shed back here. Oh, I see a shutter right there. Old pipe, they had water running to it. A door right there, and yep, roof is gone. A concrete slab right there. Oh. looks terrible <laughs> oh here's a concrete shed another concrete slab right here something was back here maybe they, maybe they had some uh, probably some outbuildings and this is a 27 acre property I believe it was 400 acres back in its prime yeah this is junk picture frames tarp yeah, a bunch of brush back here. Yeah, thin little chimney right there. And so that, uh, yeah, the Martin's Manor Motel, I saw it advertised it sold steak, fried chicken. It was open 24 hours a day. 
Yeah, so nice little stop of these. There are plenty of motels littered, old motels, rundown motels up and down this little stretch of Route 1. Uh, I know the Alpine is a couple miles, few miles south. And after the interstate system came in in the 60s, it kind of killed them off. Uh, Route 1 obviously being the main thoroughfare at the time. That door is boarded up. Dormers are boarded up. See little, little latches right there. It's a clapboard house. Man, covered in ivy and yeah i see a fireplace so yeah there's a fireplace that's uh been copped off and it's got a pretty good face to it i see little little iron yeah whoops little ionic columns coming up um yeah so yeah i'm sure this thing looked nice at one time I also read that some ghost hunters came out here and found a lot of activities for you, uh, for those people. Wow, so there's uh, a roof off something. I don't know, it's kind of in an odd spot. I wonder what the story with that is. Uh, so yeah, house back here. I don't film their house, but uh, I wanna walk through that. I could walk around. Yeah, another boarded up door right there. And is that another chimney? Oops. Yeah, it's more junk. I'm just gonna... Oh, oh it's locked up. <laughs> Compass windows, couple big dormers, and yeah, you can tell that was a nice little uh, building, little attachment here. of brush over here wrapping around sun's out hitting it great and yeah pretty grand portico porch up front too bad it's about to cave in so there you go good shot martin's manor all right, just take a look out front. These benches, like I say, the flea market's held here on the weekends and they're the encroaching ap apartment. So yeah, that endless uh, sprawl south down Route 1. Ooh, anyway, all right guys. Yeah, that's it for Martin's Manor. Again, anyone out there has additional information, please put it down in the comments. As always, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. And if you wanna help me get out to more of these places, you can support me on Patreon. See ya.